And joining us now is Luca Lawrenson. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Welcome. Thank you. Are we learning that your visit here is just for this one event and yeah. then you're coming back later in yeah. the year? Yeah. Why are you coming just for one event? Um, I think that I wasn't supposed to play Memorial and then it was way too long for me to stay. And then I'm coming back in April and then coming back again uh, for Worlds and then through Maple Hill. So yeah, that was just what's best for me. So, so we're going to see yeah. you traveling back and forth a couple times, but yeah. you're aside from disc golf, you've always been very competitive <laughs> and I did a little research and I found out that you actually have done weightlifting, CrossFit and international level of twirling. How many yes. national titles and medals do you have? Uh, uh, oh my God. It's a lot. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Oh, so in addition to being one of Norway's best disc golfers, you have other things going on. Uh, what have you done to prepare yourself for this week? Um, I've been training a lot, uh, a lot of putting. I haven't really thrown like distance shots because uh, it's so cold back home. Um, so it's been like physically preparing, mentally putting. And do you feel like you're fully prepared with everything that you need to do? Because you were out here for the last few days. Mm -hmm. We had some high winds, as you saw. Yeah. Uh, you also look like you were enjoying some time off the course. But uh, yeah. everything that you've done here on the course, you're ready to go for the week? I am, actually. I got here um, last Tuesday. So I've been here more than a week. So I got like three rounds before the weekend. So... Uh, I didn't play on Monday or Tuesday, the day it was most wind, so uh, it didn't really matter. I feel uh, I feel I'm I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you on and off throughout the entire 2022 season. Yeah. Here's Zoe Andike. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. It's so good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And it's um, kind of cool, kind of crazy travel, and awesome to hear how much you'll be going back and forth. Um, what made you decide that Vegas was a good fit for your schedule? Um, I played Vegas right before COVID, uh, and I felt like the course fits my game. So, and I enjoyed enjoy my time. So I thought I wanted to come back and it's cold back home. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to come and like practice, throw some shots and start my season off. So. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So it's been a couple of years, obviously, due to the yeah. pandemic since you've been here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the game like mentality when you play tournaments back home versus coming over here to play the tournaments? Oh, big difference. Or yeah, it's a big difference. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of female players back in Norway. So it's been mostly like big tournaments and going like to Finland and other places in Europe, um, but it's different. Uh, when I play like international, like in Finland, where I have Hanna, Evelina, and Kristin, that's more uh, like it feels like here. So yeah, yeah, Very it's good. a difference. Yeah. How many years have you been with Prodigy? Um, so my first year was uh, 2020. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, COVID. So okay. <laughs> yeah, so well, two years. Can you tell us your favorite molds in the bag? Yeah. Um, so right now, it's probably A2 and D2. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And my putter A3, PA3. So awesome. Yeah. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you, thank so you much. for coming. Yeah. Thank you. It was Mitch Phillips with Gatekeeper Media. Hi. Um, just two years after you joined the PGA, you won the Norwegian Championships, not just yeah. once, but twice. Yeah. What does it look like to come into a sport? Terry mentioned, you know, a decorated athlete in other places, mm -hmm. but what does it look like now that you've come in, kind of say, hey, I'm here to stay, mm -hmm. and then now coming to America for a pretty extensive tour? You yeah. know, what does that confidence feel like, and what does it look like moving forward? Um, it's definitely good to have that background and then to play really good when I started yeah. and to have that start with... Uh, winning nationals uh, two years after I joined PDJ and I I really feel like this is like the 2020 Las Vegas challenge because I feel <laughs> yeah. like uh, I didn't really play that much like the two last years mm -hmm. so I'm confident yeah 
And uh, you talked about it recently too, with kind of you heading back to Norway. Um, yeah. What does the European tour look like for you? Um, I was fortunate to be able to follow the Project Pro Tour a ton this past year. You know, see Evelina, Hina, mm-hmm. you know, these names that a lot of people know. But your name, yeah. one that not a lot of people here in America may know, but in Europe, making waves. What is your plans for your, your the European tour? Um, I do have some plans. I'm going to European Open and PCS Sula, yeah. and probably play Yadva. Uh, and uh, in Denmark, and I have some big tournaments back in Europe. So awesome! Yeah. Anything on the Project Disc Pro Tour and some of those bigger stops in Finland? Um, yeah, yep. Yeah. Awesome! That's going to be exciting to see you battle it out. Good luck this week. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Matt Rothstein, PDGA. Hi. Um, hi. Just wanted to, um, since you may be unfamiliar to a lot of uh, viewers in the U.S., I just wanted to ask you to kind of just introduce your game a little bit. Tell us about some of the strengths and. Uh, what you'll be relying on out here this week to uh, to keep up with uh, some of the top players. Okay, so um, usually I'm I'm consistent, and I throw a lot of overstable discs. <laughs> I feel like I can throw them far, so that's like my strength, uh, and obviously my putting. So that's what I'm relying on. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, what uh, since it's been a couple of years since you've been competing at this level, what are your goals coming into this event? Um, so that's a hard one. Uh, I feel like I definitely want to do good uh, and I want to be on top. Um, but I feel like top 10 is a good goal for me. Yeah. Have you felt like you've been able to progress your game even though you haven't been over here competing against as deep a field as maybe you were in Europe? Um, I didn't feel like that when I was back home, but when I got here, uh, I saw that I, I'm throwing farther than I, the last time I was here. So obviously, yeah. That's great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass you off to Terry for one more. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Luca, we're learning that it is 1236 in Norway, which means <laughs> it is officially your birthday. Yes. You're turning 30. Congratulations. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank we- you. <laughs> thank you. Go bet big or something tonight. Good luck this week. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you.